An air passenger rights advocate is calling for mandatory fines for airlines that fail to accommodate passengers with disabilities. Yet another BC traveler is going public tonight after she was left hanging at the airport. It is the fourth time that has happened in recent months. CTV Shannon Patterson has the story. Since breaking her hip two years ago, getting around has been more difficult for 77-year-old Sharon Spruston. Now I use a cane. I cannot walk very far. I have to use other methods to get to certain places like a wheelchair in the airport. So Spruston pre-booked wheelchair assistance for her Flair Airlines flight from Vancouver to Winnipeg in late September. And when she checked in at YVR, she was told to wait, but no wheelchair came. 75 minutes later, a fed up passenger stepped in to help. A fellow beside me said, hang on. He went, he was gone for about five minutes. He came back with a wheelchair. He took me to my departure gate because Flair didn't come through. When she landed in Winnipeg, once again, no wheelchair from Flair, and there wasn't one at either airport for her flight home either. I should have had four, I had zero. So each time, she was forced to walk. I began to limp very badly, and the pain just kept getting worse and worse. The Vancouver senior came forward after seeing stories of other BC passengers with disabilities being failed by their airline. Amputee Angela Taylor was abandoned at the gate by Flair, forced to walk to YVR Customs when a golf cart never came. Rodney Hodgins had to drag himself down the aisle to get off his Air Canada flight, and paraplegic Sarah Morris Probert pulled herself backwards up metal airplane steps to board her WestJet flight. These people are being treated inhumanely. It's a no-brainer. This air passenger what rights advocate says regulations on how airlines must accommodate passengers with disabilities need to be stronger and there should be mandatory fines if they don't comply. It should be an automatic process, fast process, and one that hits the airline's bottom line sufficiently significantly to make the airline change its behavior. Using money as part of the battle, I think, is the only thing that's going to... They need to feel a bit of pain like they're putting us through. After her experience with Flair, Spruston is apprehensive about a planned flight to Edmonton in the new year. I almost am on the point of not trusting the airlines to help me. And that's an awful feeling. Shannon Patterson, CTV News, Vancouver.